The Philippine National Police Special Action Force acquired additional wheeled armored vehicles to beef up its light armor capability. Due to the decreasing serviceability of its existing fleet of Cadillac Gage V-150 Commando wheeled armored vehicles, and the need for more protected mobility capability, especially in high-risk areas. This video will look at these wheeled armored vehicles' capabilities and see how this will benefit the Philippine National Police Special Action Force. In 2017, the Philippine National Police Special Action Force requested the first batch of six wheeled armored vehicles. This armored vehicle is the MDT Tiger Mark II, a wheeled armored vehicle manufactured by the company MDT Armor, which is based in the United States, a subdivision of MDT Protective Industries from Israel. In 2018, the Philippine National Police Special Action Force requested another batch of wheeled armored personnel carriers with a higher budget for 16 new vehicles. In November 2018, the Philippine National Police Special Action Force conducted the bid opening to acquire one lot of multi-purpose armored vehicles and accessories with an approved budget of more than 618 million pesos. The project calls for two armored vehicles with a mobile assault ram. Seven armored vehicles with a remote controlled weapon station for 40 millimeters grenade launcher and 50 caliber heavy machine gun. and seven armored vehicles with a remote-controlled weapon station for the 50 caliber heavy machine gun. Spare barrels for the heavy machine guns with 103,000 rounds of 50 caliber linked ammunition and 7,000 rounds of 40 millimeters linked grenade ammunition and six towing bars. Three proponents submitted their bids. The lowest bidder is the Stone of David Corporation through Gaia Automotive Industry. The second lowest bidder is the Kalamul Trading, is a joint venture of Chasery Metal and Rubber Co. Limited Thailand. And the third bidder, the LSV and Tar Ideal Joint Venture, was disqualified for not meeting specific requirements. Stone of David Corporation Gaia field their Gaia M. 4x4 armored vehicle. While Kalamul and Chasery field the Chasery first win, 4x4 armored vehicle. The Gaia Amir is currently in use by the Israel Defense Forces. While the Chasery first win uses by the Royal Thai Army, the Malaysian Army, and the Thai Ministry of Justice. As in all other biddings, the Philippine National Police Special Action Force conducted a post-qualification inspection with Stone of David Corporation or Gaia Automotive Industry, having the first chance to pass it. In December 2018, Gaia Automotive Industry was setting up a local branch which would be officially named Gaia Automotive Philippines which will based in Subic, Philippines. The armored vehicles will produce locally and gives a job to Filipinos. This development is the result of President Duterte official visit to Israel, in which the two countries sealed 22 business agreements, worth $84.9 million, or 4.5 billion pesos. 
This agreement includes the marketing and promotion of tactical vehicles, including technology transfer between the Stone of David Corporation and Gaia Automotive Industries Limited. Their local presence would enable Gaia to compete better in projects with the armed forces of the Philippines, Philippine National Police, and regional requirements for light armored vehicles. In November 2020, the first batch of two Amer 4x4 armored vehicles arrived in the Philippines. The Gaia Amer 4x4 is an armored personnel carrier or minor assistant ambush protected vehicle in 4x4 configuration. It has a base level of protection of Stanek 4569 level 2, which gives protection up to 76 by 39 mm armor piercing incendiary and it has a V-shaped hull with mine protection level 1 and 2 against 6 kg mines. This vehicle provides the best-in-class protection to the crew cabin, engine compartment, windows, and wheels. It is also equipped with safety locks on all doors and a rear camera, relaying images to a driver-mounted monitor. Its transparent armored windows provide exceptional visibility and the seven firing boards enable 360 degrees of active protection. This vehicle is equipped with run-flat tires and will remain mobile for up to 50 kilometers, even after suffering multiple bullet holes. The Gaia Amir 4x4 can be outfitted with a variety of custom payloads, including day and night observation cameras and missile launchers. At the same time, the roof can serve as a platform for a high-performance remote control firing station. The Gaia Amir 4x4 is built on the combat-proven Ford F550 chassis, which provides high performance, reliability and cost-effectiveness, enabling worldwide service from Ford Corporation, affording full autonomy when purchasing spare parts. Range. It has a range of 400 kilometers, and with 4.5 liters Cummins diesel engine, made it to an 8-speed automatic transmission. With a fuel of diesel and kerosene type, allowing it to run at a top speed of 122 kilometers per hour, and a maximum payload of up to 3 tons, it can climb into a 60% incline road and it can hold up to a 30% side slope. With this development, the new armored vehicles will significantly increase the armored mobility of Special Action Force, especially in high-risk areas, in conducting missions anywhere in the country, to fulfill its mandated task to serve and protect the Filipino people. This vehicle, from Gaia Automotive Industries Limited, is the ideal solution for a multitude of missions in the country, where mobility and survivability are what really counts.